Hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. I'm going to do a video on how I bonded with Seymour here. I got a lot of questions asking how I bonded with them and before I didn't really think about it, but I guess we are pretty close now. So I'll just share with you some of the things that I found helped with him. So the first thing was I learned right away that Seymour was really protective of his things and that his cage was his zone where the pigs, I can do whatever I want when I want, but Seymour I had to start off by opening his door and sitting there and waiting. I had to wait until he would come up to me and let him sniff me and then slowly he would let me reach inside his cage to do stuff. Otherwise, if I just reached right in, he would grunt and snort and, you know, box at me. He got really upset. So that's what I did every morning and night when I needed to do stuff in his cage. I would just sit there patiently and wait until he invited me in. Now, slowly, he would let me do more stuff because at first I had a time limit, about 30 seconds, to do what I wanted, and then he'd get mad again. Whereas now... I just wait, he comes up to me, and then I can do whatever I want, and he doesn't care anymore. But before, it was a pretty big deal. And then the other thing that really helped me bond with him to gain his trust was letting him out for floor time. I would just sit on the floor while he was out, and I would not try to touch him or anything. I would just sit still in one corner and let him come up to me. And if he came up to me, then I would try to pet him. And at first, he really didn't want me to pet him. Like, he'd let me touch his head, and then he'd kind of wince, go to the side, and stuff like that. Oh, he smells that I have a little snack, so, well, come on, come up. Hey, you gotta come up. Come here. Come here. There you go. So anyway, at first he wouldn't really want me to touch him very much, so I just let him be and let him play around, and every day I would just, when he came up to me, would try to pet him, and then slowly he would let me pet him just like a little bit. If I went too far down his back or on his sides, he'd run. I think he was thinking I was going to pick him up. But slowly and surely he would come up closer to me and let me pet him for longer. And I think a big thing was, I don't have to pick him up to take him out for floor time or to put him back. So he knows when he's out for floor time that I'm not going to pick him up. And I think that has really worked wonders for him to trust me. So eventually he got to the point where I could just pet him all over and he was actually starting to really enjoy it and, you know, sit back and relax. And the other thing is, he gets a urinary tab just like the pigs. And I use that as something fun to do. Either I have him follow it, do a little obstacle course, or have him hop up on a box for it, or have him like hop up on my lap for it. So he really gets to interact with me that way and know that I'm not a threat. That's it, babe. What else do we do, little Seymour? I just sit out with him so much, and every night I sit and I pet him forever and he absolutely loves it and again I never have to pick him up so he's never scared that I'm gonna pick him up which I think is a really good thing I know not everybody has the option that they don't have to pick them up but I think like still he absolutely hates if I pick him up he trusts me a lot but when as soon as I go to scoop him up he like goes nuts and at first I thought maybe he would get better as he trusted me more, but that hasn't changed. So that's a good thing not to have any expectations. All rabbits are going to trust you at different rates. So when I first had him, I just kind of had to be like, okay, well, whatever happens, happens. We'll just slowly work on it. So have a lot of patience. And make sure when you're interacting with them that you're down at their level. If you're up top and you're reaching down at them, that can be quite intimidating. So I think sitting down, right down at their level, is very calming to them. Especially if you're reaching in their cage. It's good to be down at their level when you're going in, rather than swooping over top. 
because they are prey animals, so they're going to be scared of things just like the pigs. It's just their natural instincts to kind of run, hide, be cautious. So you just have to really go slowly and earn their trust that way. I'd say for Seymour, like, he pretty much trusts me 100%. Nothing really bothers him except the picking up, which is something I really don't look forward to working on because he scares me. Like, I think, like, he's going to bite me because he does, like, the fake lunges. He grunts, he snorts, he gets really worked up. So I end up having to throw a little fleece blanket on him, and as soon as that's on him, he'll freeze, and then I can scoop him up. So that's what I've been doing, because just going, reaching for him with my hands, no, he scares me. So those are pretty much all, all that I've done and that all I can think of. Just take your time, you know, try to offer them treats by your hand, talk to them, sit with them. Don't go after them if they're not interacting with you. Wait till they come to you and be down at their level and really respect their cage and their toys because that is a big deal and when you have a treat kind of make it fun make them work for the treat make them follow you around let them get to know you and Seymour does really well if I let him smell my hand or even my husband if you're gonna pet him in his cage you hold your hand to him and he sniffs it and then you get the okay to touch him some people say that if you put your hand out they could bite you but he has never done that and it's worked well so yeah, let's see where little Seymour is now. Hey cutie. <laughs> I made him this little, it's a boot rack, and there's all little ho opening holes up there, so I was like, I don't want him to jump up there and have a foot slip through or a nail. So I zip tied a little grass mat and he absolutely loves running underneath and hopping up on there. So yeah, there's little Seymour for you. Hope some of that was helpful and if you have any questions, just let me know. Hey baby. You're a good one, but yes you are. Yes you are.